Uh, hello, yes. Welcome to just Halo Reach. A good game, a better story. Uh, so, it's gonna be spoiler free for a little bit. Just all you gotta know is the story is good. I wasn't paying attention at all, but when I started paying attention, I was like, oh man, what? Ha, ha? To what? But. Yeah, anyway, that that's what I'm going to say about the story for now. I'm going to talk more about it later, but I'm keeping it spoiler free. Uh, but the main the main thing I want to say about Halo Reach is that the game is just fun. It's a fun game, but it's got it's got its quirks. This isn't the best first person shooter I've ever played, but it's up there. It is it is genuinely up there. I I 100% can see why people love Halo. I like this game. This game's good. But it's not... It, 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 it still has its quirks. Yeah, anyway. The, the parts that weren't fun, it, it definitely had its, had its parts that weren't fun. Like, about half of the vehicle sections, like uh, when, when you're in a slow vehicle or just kind of forced into a vehicle and you're just like, I just want to be boots on ground action. There was this one section where I was in a tank and, and like... The start of the tank section, it was really fun because it was a tank. I was blowing stuff up, and nothing could stand in my way. I was just like, "Oh, it's a tank!" And then, uh, th and then I like, and then there were so many more things, and it was just, "Oops, you died!" "Oops, the tank is super slow, so you have no evasive action." "Oops," and it was just, it was just annoying, and and also the times you throw yourself against a wall where it's just kind of oops 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 you die and that those parts weren't fun but i would say that 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 might have been me playing on a uh, heroic but eh, who cares whatever uh but the most one of, one of the most annoying sections in the game or one, one thing that's really really dumb in my opinion is uh you get these weird, like, power-up thingies, and most of them look good, like, like, be tankier, uh, jetpack, other, but I never, I, I never changed out, because I had the sprint, and the sprint was all I cared about. It was it. it was, and, but there was this one section where the game was like, hey, you need the jetpack, you can't go through the game without the jetpack, and I was just... I was just bummed because I was like, I I I, I want I want I want to I want to use I want to sprint because I'm slow, because you do move slow in the game and it is annoying. And you're just like I I I, I don't want to I I want I want I want I want my sprint. Give me my sprint back. And, and yeah, yeah, but apart from that, it was good. Now now for some compliment, and and yeah yeah the game has its quirks. Uh, only some guns you can zoom in with. And, yeah, but the ones that are fun are really fun. The, the, again, the shooting isn't the best. I've played better first-person shooters, better better shooting games in general, but Halo Reach, it's just good. It, it's, it, it gets the job done of being a, a, f a fun game. Yeah, uh, and, 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 and the visuals were were great and 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 well obviously some things have aged cuz it's it's kind of an older game like uh of course during cutscenes some of the character models wouldn't look great but the the environments in the levels there would be times where i would stop completely and just look at the skyboxes in awe the 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 biggest time was in the weird ice level part where you have to make the last stand thing to get into the science lab. I don't remember the context. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, th th those backgrounds, I genuinely just stopped and just admired them because it was so it 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 it, it looked so good, and I was just like, man, that's just. Witchcraft, yeah. and and the music again. There would be times where I would just be in the gameplay, and then the music would come in, and I'd just be like, "Oh man, 
like that that's something about Halo that that like again I wasn't really expecting just like it's just, it's just good I, I can't I, I don't I don't know the math about it I I I don't I it I would just be shocked I would be standing in the battlefield and just the music and I'd be like dude it's time to kick some butt and when where the gameplay really shined for me at least was when the game just reveled in its chaos where where I had to think on my feet and really just think I had to I like oh no this guns almost out of ammo and there's a lot of enemies well uh bam 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 uh pick up this thing bam 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 uh, in one of the final missions, even though I was dying, or it, it, uh, even though I was dying constantly, I was still having fun because I was experimenting. I was using the grenade launcher. I was using the magnum. I was throwing grenades, and I was having fun, and it was good. I didn't feel like I was throwing myself against a brick wall. I felt like I was, I was playing the game, and it was just fun. And, and, yeah, yeah, the weapons were, were really fun. The, the ones that I liked were, like, the DMR, that was my favorite, but also the Magnum, and the Spike Rifle, and the Needle Rifle, and the Shotgun. But I really hate how, in some games, this game especially, if you don't use a shotgun point blank, it fires confetti. It, that's, no, that's not how a shotgun works, buddy. But that's, that's, that's besides the point. The shotgun, when it worked, it was good. And also the energy sword, that, that one was good. Uh, but, yeah, yeah, most of the weapons were fun. Except, except I didn't really like using the battle rifle. Because it, it kind of felt like the paper cut machine. That, that was just what I called it. it yeah. But, Yeah. And and some of the gimmick stages were they were kind of fun, uh, like like again when when it revels in its chaos, like like uh, there was one section where I was just on a on like a dirt bike or, or not a dirt bike like an M ATV, and uh and I was just like YOLO whoa driving up driving and it was fun. But this, but again the space stage, like I, I wasn't expecting the space level to be fun. I, I wasn't expecting uh, t t Star Wars from Halo Reach, but I got it, and it was good. Like at the start, I was like, "This, this is kind of dumb." But once, but once I got more familiar with the controls and understood what the game wanted from me, I felt good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, final remarks: the story is just good. But I have. One last thing to say that I forgot to say. Uh, another another weird quirk is that you can only have two weapons at a time, and instead of scrolling between them to switch, you just press one on your keyboard. Also, I should say I played the PC port on the Master Chief Collection. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah, it, it feels weird to do that to switch your weapons, but once you get used to it, 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 it like, you don't even think about it. You're just like, oh, I'm out of, I'm out of ammo right now. I'm out of ammo in my Mac. Switch to the secondary. Bam. Uh, bam, 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 bam. Okay, we're good. We're good. And, yeah. Anyway, it's time for the spoiler. And, uh, it's time for the story, but, uh, actually, what last tiny thing. The game, like, the shooting by itself in a vacuum would be a six or a seven out of ten. And I don't mean that to be rude. It's just the truth. But add in the, the the atmosphere, the story, the music, the sounds, the visuals, it bumps the game up to a solid, a very solid nine out of ten. And and you just you're just shocked by it because you're like, dang, dude, did the game is good? What? Huh? And it, it, it it's just it's just good. It, yeah. Anyway, that that that's what I'm gonna say. That's what I'm gonna say. If you don't want spoil story spoilers, turn it off now. I, I won't I won't be mad. Anyway. So 
I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't paying attention at the start, like at all. The the and and I kind of am paraphrasing here, but basically the story is you're on the planet Reach and you're in your noble six, and you got uh t t five teammates, uh, June, Carter, Sarge. Those were the three that I didn't really know or care about that much. But then there were the other two, Cat and Emil. These guys I liked. I sh I sure hope nothing bad happens to them. Wink. And and then uh, when and then w and then I started paying attention. Sarge dies, and I was like, Oh, oh no, oh. And then uh, the next mission, and uh, you're fighting guys. You meet up with with Noble Team Six. Uh, and, and, and for, for the past few missions, like, Cat and I had been together for a while, and I was like, hey, there's Cat, the character I like. Man, I, I, I enjoy being with her because, yeah, we've been on missions. She can, she can draw enemy fire, and yeah, I, I like her. And then she just dies. Bop, right through the head, no ceremony, no final word, just dead and I was like no that 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 is like I I was just shocked I, it, it, it it just shocked me and then more people started dying and then and 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 yeah like like cat was the one that got to me the most because that was the character I cared about and then more people started dying and then there were four of us and then I'm not gonna lie I don't really know what happened to Carter or June, like, like, I, someone rams a spaceship into, or someone rams a plane into a, into a thing, I think that was June, I'm just gonna assume, and then there were just me and Emil, and Emil was one of the other character I cared about, and, uh, and then in the final mission, he dies, and I was like, no, no, stop dying, no, no. And and then uh and then the final mission where your objective is to survive and I died like 30 seconds in and it felt kind of disingenuous at the end cuz it was like oops oops I died. But uh I'm not going to lie. I already knew that that happened. I already knew that everyone died. I had I I've seen the current objective survive screenshot a hundred billion times. I know that that happens. But, like, just experiencing it, it, it was, it was just good. It was a good story. And I, I highly recommend the game. Because it, it, it was just, it was just good. Yeah. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I put 300 hours into this video. Uh, like and subscribe. Uh, to, to hit the bell. Uh, follow my SoundCloud. Uh, uh, subscribe to my Patreon. I don't have one. Uh, yeah. Bye.